So, welcome back to the New World Iron Man Challenge on the Fresh Start server. As you can see behind me, the uh, ship's about to land, and we'll go take a look at that. Here we go. Uh, the lap last episode, we left off right there at the beach, and we're just going to take a look at this again. Quite the uh, interesting encounter. Looks like I got my Warhammer skill up a little bit. Sorry for getting right into the action, but the boat was coming. Captain Boydor. And he was quickly dispatched by this motley crew of uh, invaders. Or uh, valiant heroes. We'll take a quick look at... Uh, oh, and now we can literally blow up the boat. I didn't get to boat, blow it up. Everybody's quite happy that they did. And we'll jump off here. And for some reason I hit level 15. Oh, I got a second anchor. I'd just done the quest, and I guess that's now a repeatable quest. We're going to use our overhand. Unfortunately, I didn't kill him. And I bet you, because my strength dropped down a little bit below temp, uh, the, that mark right there. Ah, oh, this is going to be good, though. That puts us back over the top. Let's take a look uh, up here, and we'll get back into the swing of things. The sword and the shield, I'm just going to take something random for right now. Because I can always respec it for free. Then, the war hammer. We do have it out. I'm not going to necessarily be using it quite a bit. Um, I don't like any of these. Clear out, uh, we're going to go with increased damage, surrounded by two of them. There we go. We'll take that one. A little increased damage. Love that damage. And we're going to get back into the questing. Um, as you can see, just as uh, I didn't do anything while we were gone, there's my strength. Uh, the trade skills are still <laughs> quite low. Um, attributes are what they are. And we'll take a look at the map. You have to go up here, number one on the map, destroy those explosives. We can run up there and do that, no problem. Um, I also added the, uh, I couldn't help it, but I wanted to go back up there and make a specific video for uh, all those camps. That was just ridiculous. I couldn't, really couldn't believe how many there were. I've seen a lot in uh, Windsward, but uh, that was a whole another, whole another level. I don't know if it's a good idea to be hitting these barrels. But, did we aggro him? We did. Oh, I thought he was going to run up. Now that we have the, uh, a little bit more, um, oh, uh, he has a shield, so he's going to be living a little bit longer. And I, I should pop some food as well, just to help me, um, uh, we've got plenty from the beach when I was killing those boars. I think I made a bunch of food. Or I've been collecting it. We'll help that guy out. He's got fancy, fancy armor. Look at that. Very fancy. We'll get better. We'll get back out of full screen. And something up here. Let's take a look. I think everybody wanted it. And down there, these provision chests um, there's specific recipes that I want out of them. And if I can actually walk around the... Oh, there's this. There it is down there. Are we going to get credit for it? No. So, looks like this one is actually competitive. There we go. As in the quest is competitive. Other quests, you know, it's similar to this. Everybody can just walk up and all do it equally, but not that one. You're going to actually have to compete for the... Uh... And we can hop over this. We'll take a look around down here. These are going to be really competitive down here, I suspect. And uh, those actually do uh, hurt you a little bit. But I can't, uh, I can't ever pass up uh, provisions. There we go. Ooh, this is a stockpile. What do we get? Milk. Very important. 
and these are respawning quite quickly. I don't think we'll get credit, but, ah, we'll pass this guy and mag this chest. Quite a bit of stuff up here. Too tempted to go up and look. I mean, the game is amazing. It really is. I mean, there's a shipwreck on a, uh, on a cliff. We'll hit this barrel. I won't get away from it fast enough. I didn't take any damage that time. We'll open this up. Does it want us to go up there? I mean, it seems to be. Oh, the respawn. And that time I took damage. Let's see if it'll respawn real quick here for us again. He's going to open that. He's got the... Nice armor set from Brimstone Sands. And there it is. Instead of running around and try to find everything, just let it respawn. It's a little cheesy, but still effective. We'll run over here. And, oh, I definitely want that. But I don't have to get it right away. Oh, this guy's... Very nice. Oh, but because I don't, I haven't improved that ability yet. It doesn't have crit, so he was able to interrupt my uh, string of three hits there. All right, we'll grab this. Now, what I've possibly done is outran the area that the uh, chests spawn in. So I'm gonna run back down. I think we only need one more. Top right, one more. We'll get a crit from the back, and there we go. See if I can block this and do it. And I did, but I did block it the other time, and I got credit for a, no uh, damage. Looks like some other guy is going shirtless, going pantless. Uh, it's just to talk to that person, and it's not up here, but I mean, I'm already up here. I want to see what's going on. Nothing that way. Ooh, but there's a nice cave. Now what I suspect is that it'll, it'll, it'll have us going back up here for another reason. This is too good of a cave to pass up. Quest-wise. That guy hit me from way up there. Really did he? He did. A gren grenadier. He really wanted to... We're going to dodge that one. Looks like I've got my hammer out for some reason. And while I'm tempted to go up there, I need to go finish these, turn these quests in, so we're going to go back. And now I know why that guy was uh, trying so hard to <laughs> get up there and hop over, because he was also uh, ran by. Let's see. We're looking at... Hmm. Guess we drop down. We'll run over here real quick. Let's find out where this is. Is it behind this? Yes, it is. But that's why that guy was trying to... Uh, Jump up and over there. He was heading in the same direction. For the same reason. Oh. An axe? That's a nice axe. We'll use that as our secondary. We'll use that as our secondary weapon. Oh, well. Oh, Grace O'Malley's back. I remember Grace from the beach. Her fence is the spark of a night in me. I have to train more. Okay, so we got a few items here. And, and we have two of these. I become a knight soon. Then so everyone will call me we're going to get rid of that one. Ash. And the thing is, I know where to get this, so I'm just going to delete it. Take the uh, salvaged parts. Salvage that. Salvage that. Heavy, we're going to get rid of. 
light chest wear. Hmm. Dexterity, constitution. Tempting to wear. Then I could actually wear some other stuff. We'll throw it on. Oh, that looks really bad now, huh? Let's see if we can throw some pants on. There we go. A little better. Slightly better. And we're going to get rid of this uh, Constitution Heavy Armor. That's been... Um, has the lock on it, so I don't I won't delete it. Although I don't think I'll really need it. Light armor with extra dexterity. Hmm, we're looking at it. The weight's the same. We'll take it. Let's take a look. I like that look. Nothing, no problems with that. It has some dexterity. That'll help on our damage, I believe. What do we have here? Medium? Nope. Light focus constitution. Now I don't have any feet, uh, anything on my feet at all. We'll throw those on, and we're still in light gear. What's this? Constitution plus six. That's definitely a nice find. And then we can salvage. That can't be salvaged. Can I drop it? Can't salvage it, but you can drop it. And I'll take the eleven. Take a bite of this hammer. And away we go. Done deal. Taking a look up there. And early on in the game like this, um, it's not crucial by any stretch to... Um, it's not crucial to have the best perfect gear set up at all. Um, I just like having my attributes over certain thresholds. So that's why I was paying attention to that and making sure that um, I was still in the uh, the light. So we've got uh, we can get some we can get a hat and some gloves and we'll be in good shape. Now we've got a a great axe. Uh, and sure enough, they did what I suspected they were going to do. And we run up that way. We could, or we can run up this way and not have to take all those stairs. Nobody likes stairs. And away we go. What can we do? A little, uh... We can. Definitely looking for a hatchet. Um, like a strength hatchet. That'll allow me to use the Berserk mode. Uh, Berserk gives you a little bit of a speed boost. And... Not only that, it gives you, um... It allows you so you don't have to be staggered. And... And a few things. That was weird. Yeah, this is, uh, maybe it's loading this in. Kind of glitched out there. Maybe it's uh, loading the assets that I haven't been here before. We're running in. We're going to have to run to the right, not the left. Looks like everybody else knows that as well. Oh, our first alligator. Can we skin him? We can. Everybody else thought about it for a second. We're a little bit too slow. There's another one down there. Now, the thing is, I actually need... I need the uh, the leather. I'm going to make a new uh, greatsword. I need the, uh, <laughs> the experience. Uh, we'll just grab these up. So what was that? That was three uh, alligators, and what did we get? 13, so about 40-ish. And if you um, refine that, that's uh, 10 coarse leather, which is maybe one or two of the great sorts. Ah, these glyphs. I've seen these out in Grimstone. Very interesting. What do we do here? You will be like me. Hmm. It's pointing right to where we have to be, and this is it. So, it says, optional, destroy the strange altar, defeat Helvin the Navigator. Is that Helvin the Navigator down there? Oh, but that's some, uh... Oh, there's some chests. Oh. Ominous kind of pushed me over here. I'm gonna do... this to the Ominous Altar. Looks like I got crit. I'm gonna defeat his lackeys. 
search the rubble. He gave me an altar shard. Are these his lackeys? They seem like kind of lackey-ish. Oh wow, he's a uh, he's got an actually nice overhand there. I'm just using light attacks just to get the hits in to make sure. We're gonna grab that common potion. And oof, that's just devastating. And I have a skill point to spend. We have enough common potions where I'm gonna pop it over there. Gives a little more health. Where's his lackeys? Oh, I got credit for a lackey, but they don't they're not oddly enough they don't have a little icon over them. Which is kinda surprising. There we got the credit. And I needed to come down here anyways. The two chests? Hmm. Anything hidden under here that we should be looking around for? Thought I, I don't know, just some decoration. There's no al oh, there's an alligator. And we jump down. Oh, they've done a good job of putting up the railings. Don't want people accidentally jumping down. And collect Haven the Navigator's blunderbuss. And to find out where that is, all we're going to do is Might be up there, I don't know. Be down there. I don't see him. We'll take a look at the um try to search this stockpile again. Destroy the ominous altar and draw out Helvin the navigator. Now, it seems like I did that already once. Vita's lackeys again. I think this is a repeatable quest of some sort, then. There's one down. Oh, he's got a ranged attack, which is useful for him, because we didn't get it. Oh, what's this? Trying to chase us down here? Oh, there's Halver. There we go. And I'm just doing light swings to make sure I get enough quick swings in. Get credit for his blunderbuss. We did it. And I guess we can bail out now. Everybody else is. Going smooth. No easy way to port back. So this is where the people are uh, trying to shortcut it. Hmm. Go up here. I already got that one. Oh, that's, I, thought that, I thought that was a monster chasing me, but it was not. We'll hop up there. We should be able to hop up here, but uh, they've. Uh, what if we do this? And then this. Ah, so now these guys, let's see if they catch on. They did! Come on, Sky King. Come on. Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> and away we go. He tried once or twice, and then the other guy ran up the stairs. But it's neat. Uh, it's nice to be able to um, find different ways to do it. More ways. And away we go. Let's find out what's going on up here. And this is so bad. Um, I don't mind it that uh that I got sent back to Monarch's bluffs. Oh, there you go. A little flicker there with the fire. No surprise there. And I don't like the fire staff. I must keep vigil here. Well, let's get rid of this stuff. You must the nice one. I go quickly. Oh, the medium hat. To to now, the medium hat probably won't send, to, send us over the top, so let's try it out. And it has some... There we go. And it didn't send us over. Looking pretty dapper with the hat on now. 
And let's see what we've got. We could just die and res respawn there. Definitely could. This seems bad to do that, though. It really does. Um, I'll be adding all the uh, chapters in the bottom. And what I do with that is um, I review the video. Um, I've uploaded it. Um, and then I have it playing locally. And I, I add all the timestamps. Come on, I saw that herb. Herb pie by me. Get oregano. Add the timestamps, and then it shows up in chapters. And you can... What is this going on? Oh, so the, um, the camp does not stop the spawn, which is good. And I should have my great sword out. We'll hop up here. And that way... Like I've said before, the timestamps, they just help people that want to skip across the long run. Like right here, running back to turn in a quest. I'll probably put something like that, and then the quest turn in. And it wanted me to go there, but I don't think I have the ability to... Let's find out. Do I have the... I could recall, and now... Yeah, ooh, this is a really good thing. I have 200 Azoth. Um, I don't want to spend them alone. Uh, and I might as well use the recall instead. So I'll recall to the inn, and I'll keep a hold of my Azoth for now. But pretty soon, once I get the uh, right traits on the tools, I'll be able to get Azoth endlessly, and I'll have a thousand all the time, and I'll be jumping around, going all to the, all the hot spots that I know about for star metal and ironwood and weirdwood, grabbing all the rawhide, and here we are. A very nice, uh, a very nice inn. A lot of people in it. And to get out of the, uh, to return and have the UI pop back in, Alt H will get rid of it. I should probably change that to some other key. We could do that right now. Let's find out. I wonder if I have F3 for anything. I probably do. I think that's fishing. F2. What about F2? Let's find out settings and it'll say something about the HUD hmm. camera high UI you can't change it so you really have to do alt H every time now there might be a way I can do that and I'll fix that off camera but I'm gonna actually add a button so that I can hide the UI right on my uh, right on my mouse nice they should really make that a, a bindable key it would be nice. A beautiful game. Beautiful, you know, why not hide this UI? We're going to run down here. And there's a quest to turn in. I'd even like a way to um, easily sheathe my weapon, so I'll have to rebind that to a key as well, just to get it out of the picture. Sometimes you don't want it out. So... Those look like medium. Don't want to wear them. Level 16. It's gonna be a feast. We're going to go with... I think we'll go with strength. Sometimes if you stand close to those guys, the if it was a quest that was already done and turned, turned in, it would, pop, it would turn green. And now I found out, or remember, that we can run up these stairs... You always have to get your greatsword out because you run faster with a greatsword. Very tempting, but I already read it. Always run faster with a greatsword, I heard. Uh, now, uh, for those that don't remember that statement from Counter Strike, do not run. You do not run faster with a sword out. Dagger. Well, that's another thing. Uh, it is. I think it is. You have been here a short time, but perhaps you have seen the ruins. A knife. Prowler pants. Interesting. So where are we going next? Um, I'm going to use this food up, because otherwise they end up saving it and never using it. End up having inventory or sheds full of food that you'll save for some day, but you never end up using. What's the next quest? And I still am looking forward to... Uh, Here's the project board. Do we have anything good? I don't want any of these. I'm going to reset them all. 
I need leather too much, and fish oil would take me forever to get. So they are all gone. Now whoever, does anybody even own this town yet? No, they don't. Wants us to go inside, talk to, uh, about this, t I believe so. Hmm, talk to young guys here about the altar and the tablet. See this? Do they want it? Not that. Hmm. Oh, we're almost there. Is he upstairs? He's hidden up the stairs. If we take this escalator. And the good thing about coming this up here. An altar. Yes. Only Minister Locknear forbid. That was the main story quest. We'll take a peek around up here and see if there's any uh Oh, this chest is definitely not going to be for us. And he wants us to run over here. So I'm looking at that little marker. I miss my uh, hatchet. I can actually run a little faster here. I have to get used to uh, rolling around. Well, if it you presume much. Oh, I do presume much. He wants us to go to there. Now, the neat thing is, what we've done is, I don't want to go down there for that level 7. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to unpin that so I don't have to be distracted to it. Buy it. But, my earlier mistake is going to pay off now. Instead of having to run all the way over here, do this. I don't think I'm making a mistake at this point. Who knows? Investigate the ruins. We've already been by these ruins. So far, so good. If the uh, audio's off, the video's off, please let me know in the comments. Um, I won't. I won't take that as a. I won't be offended by that. Ah, uh, let's see if we can actually get this. We can because no one else still. All these people, they've passed up all those herbs and spices. Not me. I think there's going to be one over here as well. Oh, we might even be... Uh, that's a, I, I suspect that's mining, so we won't get that one. But we get experience. Let's see how much experience we get down there at the bottom. 20? Oh, he was might have been going for it, Mr. Chen. And there's no way I'll be able to mine that thing. I think that's a 50. It is a 50 skill. So, looking back over here, there's a couple of quests, and you know it's not. Uh, you might as well do. Might as well do them. They're they're worthwhile. You don't need a. You don't need a um. A camp here because. You'll just respawn at the shrine. These altars in there might be a good reason. You really don't die that often, so... Ah, look at this going on here. Looks like everybody can... Doesn't get used up. Number three is what we're going for. It looks like we got to hit three of these things. And quite a bit, so it's nice that they stack all these together. No big jar. There we go. And where are we off to next? We'll take this jar. And they do make it easy. Um, most of the time, 95% of the time, I don't know. Um, as far as highlighting the quest, highlighting the thing to grab. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's a more casual play. I mean, can you imagine if they they could have done it the other way, where nothing gets highlighted, you have to follow quest guides or try to figure everything out. He has the uh, brimstone. She? The, the brimstone armor set. We're going to hop up here. Anything hidden around in here? They do a good job of... Um, hiding things and make, making it worthwhile to explore so you can peek under that thing and move the camera around. Uh, looks like one 
We're going to hit one more of those. Must be like a major thing of some sort. Let's find out what it is. Inspect excavation. Yep, and that's a quest guy too. See that little yellow? Uh, oh, I don't want to hit him. I, I was going to try to uh, ease up there because I'd already done enough damage and allow those guys to get a hit in. I think he did get credit for it. We're going to hit this guy. There, and then I'll let off. We'll pick that up. Let's see if I can, um, oh, can do that one. And I could have, but no, I missed it. So, where's the uh, next guy we have to hit? Missed the soul sprout for a, by a little bit, even with the double roll. Oh, here we go. Nice. Then we'll hit this guy. We'll double check that little blue note. I mean, come on. Trying to be nice and there you go. And he got a hit. And then we can pick up, pick up the item. And we're all all set. We're gonna follow the path for the extra 15% speed boost. It's not registering. There, it registered for a second. This path must but not be wide enough. Not registering. There, it registered a little bit. We'll turn this chest. Quest in. So many tears, such little time. You've done well by bringing these crystalline tears. Thank you. And. There you are. I, huh. Oh, it's our old friend Grace. First and last time you hear Grace O'Malley say this, but just now, just after you left Pride, I thought that wide-eyed Minister Lockmere started acting strange, shouting around town that the true heir's arrival was upon us. He led some knights and even some townsfolk down south to welcome the new king. Maybe it's me. Ha, huh, then I suppose I'll be waiting for you. Yes, I Grace. Not to return without you. I thought no, Grace was kind soul. Fatima always loved her mirrors. If these last I thought Grace was a shark. Doesn't look anything like a shark. But what we've got. Alright, where do we go next? Where is it sending us? And this is the, you can tell in the top right that it's a, a, a more highlighted quest. It has the uh, star and everything. That's going to be the uh, main story quest, the MSQ. Uh, we're going to try to use the, this guy's been, what is he, oh, that's a, uh, I think that's part of the, oh, come on. Let's see if we can actually roll over here. Not get attacked. Get the soul mode actually need those. I have to remember this area for a good um, good soul moat farm. It's nice. You can port right over to it. Let's go down to the next area. I've already got that. I remember getting that before. And we'll swing at this guy. Oh, we'll get double XP. So we've got uh, uh, only 11 boiled by getting 50 and 60. Oh, what is this guy doing? He wants a, want a piece of me? 14. Well, and we'll hit this guy. Oh. And then we're going to have to run over here. Oddly enough, in um in in the Windsward area, you end up oh. Now people are catching up. Oh, not that guy. That's the bonus in life right there. Guy runs up to it. You think that no, he's going to take it. But instead, he's not skilled enough. It's all you. That's going to change soon. Within, I would say, an hour, two hours. Oh, he's definitely... Oh, look at all these! Oh, this is a beautiful thing. I've, uh... I made a bunch of other videos, um... That... Show individual hot spots or hot combo areas, uh... Farming guides, farming runs, and they highlight just easy, easy to get to places, and they're fun. Um, I also started making the one-minute guides, and those, oh boy, those are actually more stressful to make than the longer guides because you got to get all the information out in one minute, and uh, it was just tough. Um, 
but I got the first one out and I've got more on the way. Um, I want to try to do one for almost all the items. That way you can just say, hey, where's this? And a, a one minute guide will, let's do an overhand brush on that guy, roll over here. If we can roll through the water, because, oh, what's that? Oh, I got to get that thing. See if we can get it. Oh, I'm drowning because I'm bending down. See if I can not aggro. I can't roll. There I can roll. And that life moth. Very nice. All right, so we're, I suspect we're at some sort of a, a quest area. And this guy, oh, we're going to take all these guys out. Let's see if we can, I can't hop. There we go. And now I can. Now, the neat thing is, what I suspect is, well, nobody helped us, which is fine. I'm going to have some food just in case. And I don't know if that replaced it. It shouldn't have. Here we go. We're going to take that note. Press T. And it wants us. We're going to get a better idea of where we got to go. This way. And I hop through here. Probably not, but I'll definitely get stuck. Oh, we've got lasers. Oh boy, oh boy. This. Not going to be able to do it. But, as we've learned, don't pass these things up because then it'll unlock. It gives us experience. Gives us items. And, can I hop up there and not have to run through all this water? Nice. We'll scoot around that way. And they want us to jump up here for some reason. That. This guy wants to hop through there and not go through the... Oh boy. I don't have a good crouch button um, highlighted. And because I use the camera so far back that uh, sometimes it'll come back down on us. I don't want to die. Let's see. See if anybody else is going to die. Oh, this is terrible. Oh. It doesn't insta-kill you. I thought it instantly killed us. <laughs> Like in the dungeons. I was, I was like, I don't want to die. But it just hurt me. Can we... Can we... We might be able to find out. Let's find out. This isn't a new... It's a fresh start server, so a lot of these people have played before. Um, they know to bend down. Let's see if we can watch some... Anybody die down here. Oh, somebody's getting hit. Oh, we've got a croucher. A sprinter. And, uh-oh. And dead. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Did they give up, right? Oh, yeah, their body gave up. Now, what about this guy? Oh, hurt a little bit, but no big deal. Maybe they didn't have a health potion. We've got a crawler. And a couple of people hurt. Now they're hurt. Now what are they going to do? He's crawling from way back. And now he's going to be faced with this. What does he do? Oh, he actually went right under it. That seemed a little weird. I didn't think you could do that. Uh, pulled that off. And, uh, of course, you can skip ahead of this. I'll put a timestamp. Oh, and a double hurt. Oh, and he's almost dead. He's so low. This one guy got a little bit hurt. Double hurt. And, nope, down to 25%. I don't want to fall down here. I hope just that nobody knocks me off. Let's watch for one more person. We have one death and a couple of very close calls. Somebody coming. Moment now. And the verdict is here they come. Brass. Brass curs. We'll do it. Oh, no, you don't. 
Oh, there's a very tempting, uh... Oh! Mr. S oh, he's hurt. Hurt and, he and panicking. <laughs> he's going back. He's... Oh! There's Braz. Evelyn. Hurt. Oh, very hurt. Very, very hurt. And dead. We got another one. Asmol. We've got a potion taker. This is the guy that got hurt a little bit. Retreated. Oh, ducks under. Very good. Get a, a read on their health. Maybe if they stand up. Oh, maybe they're going to help this person. And they're the good Samaritan and they help somebody help. There we go. We give him a thumbs up. Oh, boy. We got one last guy. We've got a crawler. Can't see their health when they're down there like that. Looks at full health. A little, took a little hit. And another little hit. Oh, and oh, a bigger hit and made it. We can give a thumbs up. Oh, Heliok. Let's see if we can rescue him. And we've done our good deed for the day. Got a thank you and everything. He didn't want to go back to the shrine. <laughs> he really didn't. Uh, oh, and he's still not back at full health. I'm just, uh, it's kind of fun, so... Again, you'll be able to skip this if you want to. Uh, and we've got a diver. Arctic Wren. Didn't know I could uh, easily go down there and help that other guy, but... Oh, no, you don't. You're not going to push us off. There we go. Oh, and they gave us 5,000 gold for being a good Samaritan. Oh, no. I don't like this at all. Is this the way? Oh, there's a, just a chest. Well, I don't want a chest. I don't want to die for a chest. Looks like we're going down there. Now I better not die after laughing so much here. Oh, God. Goes right up to there. Now how am I going to get around this? I'm going to eat some food just in case. Does it come this far? Oh, it blocks. Nice. It blocked from that side. I just got lucky. Oh, am I going to have to go through that again? I think I just got lucky because it shined from that side onto me and it didn't... Uh, I should have checked that out earlier. I didn't know I had to go there. Uh, what do we have next? And that's it. So if I do die, no worries. And uh, is this the back way that we could have gone? I highly doubt it. Some embroidery. Now, would this be a way up? Stand on that? One last try. Could you stand on this? No. Well, there is no way really up there. Maybe, but uh, we'll grab this, take a look at the map, and it looks like we have to run back. We're almost level 17. Um, so imagine, uh, let's say you're just focused on what you're doing. You're not picking herbs. You're just going along. Because if you're not doing the Iron Man, you, you can get by without having all these skills. So it's just knockout quests, run to the next area, knockout quests. And you could fly along. You could probably be level 30, especially if you got in earlier. Um, I got in, I was in, and made my character, and it went to a black screen for a long, long time. And I was faced with relogging right when it came up, or waiting. And I didn't want to wait too long, because then the, the line would get even bigger. So I started over. Hi, Grace. 
It's not too... She left Sir Payne in charge of Pridewind's defences. She wanted to... The night region asked me to circle down to the pirate den nice. further south. See what's happening there. Um... Up with you at the farm soon enough. Okay, at the farm. Um... We'll, we'll use this one. What the heck? Why not? Um... So I restarted, and then I had 1,800 people in queue, and a lot of people were in the same boat. Um, and then we just had to wait. We'll take that. And I'm going to go with this again. Because long term, I want to have um, my standing, it goes all the way up to 300. So to get that in every town, it's going to take a lot of work. Let's see what we can do here. Oh my god. I beat Odin by a microsecond. There's a quest that we actually need. River quest or petals? One of these two things. And we're going to grab this and the other one right here. But that was a uh, very, very close call. I would have had a... Would have uh, gone even faster. And because we're right next to these, I'm just going to grab a few of them. And I can see there's a uh, there's a toadstool type thing right up there of some sort. People usually don't like those that much. They're not that important. Oh, that guy's swimming in the bottom of the... Oh, we definitely need these. Oh, he's coming after me! Why me? That's... And he's still trying. Come on. Oh, there's a turkey. That turkey's got my name written all over it. And, as you can see... What? Oh, we gotta go way down there. And we're gonna get the, uh... That's nice, because we're gonna get the, um... The next, uh... Shrine. Zoom in a little bit, and away we go. Let's find out. I really wanted to get to Windsward, but uh, as it turns out, it's not that bad here. Hmm. And we don't have 50 uh, skillet. Let's find out what our skill is at. And it'll pop up. I've got it where it fades away, but it'll pop up our in the bottom right how much we're at half halfway to full. But we only have seven. Uh, <laughs> only seven. Um, Mining skill. That's not good. At the top, it'll show the uh, shrine. And we're going to head right for it. That'll do two things. It'll unlock the shrine, and it'll give us our respawn point in case I uh, run into some more lasers. Lasers are normally my bane. Oh, if you without the um, the heads up display, there's a bunch of wolves here um, that show these things. Eventually, a lot more things get shown on your display at a certain length or a certain distance. But until then, you just kind of kind of keep an eye out for stuff. Otherwise, normally I'd pick up something and there, see on my uh, screen up there, it's pointing to something over here. So we're gonna go right at it. And now it's back. There it is. Looks like there's a fight going on up here. Very vicious wolf fight. Let's see if they want it. They do. And we're locked in. We can go right to the south. There's the highlight. Oh, this is the... Um, really nice uh, pond area. I have been here, not for quests, but it was a long time ago. Do do farms. Oh, let's see what we've got. Board it up. This Purdue unload his supplies. Well, I don't see him. There's the knight.
I'll take that squash. And I'll take this squash. What are these guys standing around for? There's something of interest. Oh, there is. I question everything the right here. Well, that's um, yes. When the farm, it was not long that. No, I will not raise my blade against my fellow. Man. There we go. That's why I couldn't tell what was going on. It wasn't being displayed to us, As but yes, now it is. But I'll turn into a lost. Okay. Don't turn into a lost. Unload produce supplies. Well, there's a quest right up here. What is this guy? Oh, maybe I could have milked him? A moonshade cow. But he died or someone killed him. I definitely need tons of milk. I think we're going a little off track here. Maybe. If this one wants us to do, uh, you know, go further off track, we won't. We won't do it, but I already have twenty six pearly white wolf fangs. I need let's see if I can actually just like them pick that up. They should be from robust middle aged wolves. Warriors. Uh, see if they want us to go over here or over here, but we're gonna finish this area off. Let's do that. Hmm. What the that was a nice weird sprint oh these are our favorite. There's a lot of them here. Plus five, not bad. Let's see if we can hop over here. Ah, this green light. I suspect maybe that has something to do with it. Oh, they passed right by my the best item in the game. Remaining supplies, three. Can't hurt them. No. Blueberries. I guess we're going to be shooting him. He's shooting at me. Seem like it's working. Hmm. It's an event of some sort here. Let's take a look what we have to do. Doesn't really, uh, oh, there's somebody that's level 29 already. Not bad. Knock these up. For a little bit of a credit. They're all hitting and killing these guys. Hmm. 37 seconds. Stop lost. Oh, that's all we're doing. We're stopping the lost from destroying them. I thought I had to destroy them. <laughs> so the, uh... Oh, come on now. So we're all... Sp I can get up here. We've got all the, uh... I'm gonna jump up and... Be the guy. Eight seconds left. Are there any coming in? Not there. One last shot. Defeat. Oh, I'm not going to make it. There's no way. Uh, they knew better than I. Oh, but I still got the I still got the reward, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, what else do we have to do? go to Silver Cave and go to Shatterwall? Hmm. I wonder is it unlocked yet? Level seventeen. Don't know yet. 
and uh, we might have to do this. I, I might have to look into it and find out why. But uh, right now, as it goes, I guess we'll hang out in this house with that guy for a second. It really wants us to go to uh, all those areas, and well, I guess we'll do so. Thing is, I want to pick up this quest as well, and I'll take that as a uh, respawn point. Ooh, he really wanted that. He's level 16. Ooh, I'm level 17 and a half. What does he want us to do? I have been uh, Demons. Had a de uh, oh, uh, and we'll get a musket. But once, basically these. We'll just run up here. I suspect there might be something along along here instead of the path. While the path is nice to run on, taking a peek in there just in case. Oh, we're here. Number two, go to Silverclaw Cave. We're at the cave, and maybe there's a cave entrance down below. Up on top. Oh, here we go. I'll only do two hits and let that guy finish him off. I'll do two hits, and then I'll go back here. And away we go. Well, that's a nice view of the place. There should be a cave here. I'm looking for the entrance. Maybe it's a very limited cave. Uh, I could technically count that as a cave, I guess. <laughs> World's smallest cave. And is there... Oh, here we go. And I did not get a hit on him. Oh, this is the one downside of the... Of the... Uh, here's the... Cave and the, and the saltpeter's gone, and that's not silver. So what do we have to do here? Oh, we have to kill one more. I'm gonna be nice, and I'm not gonna, you know, let I'll let everybody get a hit on him. He's got a green sword. Green sword. I do not have a green sword. And we're going to head to one next. One is part of the main story quest. We can knock that out. And it sounds like a good, uh, sounds like a good place. What is that? Wants us to do all that. So this sounds like a good place to stop and we'll wrap things up. We'll just get to the entrance. Is there an entrance? There certainly is. Um, but that was a fun episode number three, I believe. Um, got to see the lasers and, um, and I'll add the timestamps for everybody. Uh, please, um, if you haven't, um, just comment and let me know if you want to do this, uh, where it's just a long form off the cuff, full video with timestamps or an edited version. The edited, um, seems a little odd because then I could be editing out and editing in what uh, what I think people want to see or don't see instead of allowing the user just to skip ahead and go to chapters or areas and skip ahead to uh, like this. This is a uh, oh, this looks like a fun place. This is beautiful. Well, yeah, we'll even take a look at that. So, um, Oh, <laughs> well, this looks like a good place to uh, head out and wrap things up. I'm looking better. I actually have pants, a hat, and uh, we'll go from there. Enjoy, guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. And if you like, go ahead and subscribe or uh, hit the uh, like button. Or if you don't like it, go ahead and hit the dislike button. I don't know what would happen there. And we'll go from there. Enjoy. Thanks, and I'll be putting out episode four as soon as possible. Thank you.